Hi guys, it's Misty from The Book Rat, and I just wanted to pop on real quick to let you know, in case you didn't know already, that the next 30 Day Book Binge is starting in one week. So October 1st through October 30th, or 31st if you decide to do an extra day, will be the 30 Day Book Binge. I don't remember which round this is by now, but it's been quite a few. Um, although we had a gap this year where we didn't do them, so we're coming back. If you're unfamiliar with what it is, I'll leave all the details in the description or the comments or somewhere below, but it's basically just the super easiest reading challenge. There are no goals you have to hit page-wise, no amount of time you have to read, no types of books you have to read. It is purely just about building a daily habit. Reading every day for 30 days, whatever you're reading, in whatever format you're reading, audiobooks included, magazines, newspapers, whatever you choose, educational or not, doesn't matter. It's just about reading daily. I've talked about it before, but I credit this with really helping me get back into reading and making it feel like it's my day's not complete. Hey, why are you scratching at that? Excuse you. Get out of there. I'm sorry that you're going to hear a cat toy in this video. He only wants to play when I'm trying to do something like this. It really helped me feel like my day wasn't complete unless I had read something. And as I've talked about in the last couple of videos, I kind of fell away from that. I was reading every day, even when it wasn't a current challenge, just because it had felt like it had become a part of me. And I credit this entirely to 30 day book binge. I kind of got away from it during the pandemic and sickness and all of that, but I'm coming back. I have been reading every day lately and I'm loving it again. And I'm so looking forward to this month and hopefully re-cementing that habit. But anyway, if you want to join, all the info is below, and as has been the case from the beginning, I made some free printables for you to use during the book binge. I'm sorry I'm looking up here because I'm expecting my camera to be up here like my old phone, and it's down here with the way I'm holding it right now. Sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> there are printables for you to use to kind of keep you going if you want, and if you're a bullet journal, I made a sticker sheet again this time around. I love how everything turned out this time. Hopefully you do too and hopefully they're useful to you, but um, anyway, they're available for free if you want them. And for something a little different this time around, um, I was intending to do a vlog for this month, but I'm really not doing jack shit this month because it's a pandemic. So the only thing I am doing is working on this printable stuff. So I've been recording that and I thought, you know what? Why not just add it in to this video? So if you don't want to watch how all of it came together, you can click away now. And as I said, all the information will be below. But if you do want to see how it all came together and want a little bit of a vlog, stay tuned because I'm going to show you what I did, how I made the printables, how all that worked out, and what they are. I'm going to reveal them. So that's that. I think I've said everything that I need to. Hope to see you guys every day in October for the 30 Day Book Binge. Was I talking a mile a minute in that video? Probably. Why you a little pest? Huh? Huh? Jimmy Pesto? Hi guys. I don't know if there's literally any point in me recording this because for whatever reason it seems like my phone camera is not wanting to really pick up sound very well, so hopefully this is working. I recorded an entire vlog all through the month of August and it's basically useless. So, yay. But I'm going to try again, because right now I am working on something for October's 30 Day Book Binge, and I thought you guys might like to see it. Hi! We have a friend. <laughs> so if you're unfamiliar, basically, um, for 30 Day Book Binge, which is a reading challenge, I like to make printables to kind of keep people like jazzed and engaged throughout the month. I don't know if it actually works or if anyone uses them, but... It makes my heart happy so in addition to like a calendar and some bookmarks and kind of tracking bullet journal type of stuff um, one thing I did last time that I really really enjoyed was making a set of printable digital stickers I really don't know if that's useful to anyone but I love these so much that I want to like open an Etsy shop and start like posting them there so because it's October this round um, we're doing a kind of cutesy witchy cozy witchy thing that I'm obsessed with so I'm gonna show you guys real quick I should have showed you before I colored any of these so just ignore this for a moment 
Um, but I knew I wanted to do like a little witch cat. Originally, I was thinking kind of sitting to the side. These are really bad, like rough sketches. It was just to get an idea of the shape that I wanted. Um, so there's behind, from the side, from the front, just ahead. Um, practicing with some different style of bodies. And I ended up going with this one because I really like this one. I really liked my initial tiny sketch, even though it's not super detailed. So I went ahead and colored that. But as I'll show you in a minute, I made a bigger version too. Um, and then I wanted a hat. I knew I wanted a moon. I wanted a little pile of books. And then some of the other things I was considering was a wreath, a leaf wreath with like a quote in the middle, maybe read all day, a broom, some little potions, a little set of tarot cards, a crystal ball, and the um, little check squares that I did last time. So this was kind of what I was thinking. And I'm definitely going to use these five that are on here and are already colored. And then some of them I switched over because um, you can see they're just little like loose, horrible thumbnail sketches. These were good enough to go ahead and use, in my opinion. Um, but some of them are just, you know, really, really rough. So I switched those over, like drew them out bigger. and switch them over to watercolor paper. So here is the tarot cards. Here's the potions. That's still really um, rough and loose because I didn't, I don't need to draw the detail on for that because it's simple detail. And then here's a crystal ball with hands that were uh, the bane of my existence. And then I made the cat bigger. Still not super detailed, but bigger. And I changed the tail to be a wraparound fluffy tail, which I love. So I just went and used my window as a light box, which I don't know if, uh, that makes any sense to you. I think I've talked about it on here before, but basically I tape, whoop, basically I tape the picture up to the window and then hold my watercolor paper over it and I'm able to transfer the design under the watercolor paper that way and that kind of allows me to not get a bunch of pencil lines that I have to erase um, and also to adjust shapes, you know, as I go. Um, the point of the window being that the light shines through the thick watercolor paper because you can't really transfer or trace onto watercolor paper very easily because it's so thick unless you have a light source behind it. So DIY light box for those of you in the need. As I was saying, I transferred the designs over onto some nice thick watercolor paper. So here's the potions. Here is the crystal ball, which I adjusted. That was one of the great things about having um, the sketch and then the, the light box technique is because, can you see without this other box, can you see how like off balance that is? It allowed me to kind of draw out the globe and then shift the drawing a little bit to get this more even. So that's that. There's my little tarot, which I have to clean up a bit. And I showed you the kitty. So right now I'm going to color these and then um, try to get some good pictures in the daylight so that I can import them and clean them up on my a photo editor and then I can put them into a little layout um, all clustered together that can be printed on just a regular printer that you can cut out and stick in your bullet journal or um, whatever you want to do with them. So that is what we're doing right now. And because I am a crazy person I'm actually debating drawing them all again and repainting them all again with a different color palette because I kind of want to like limit the colors and make them I don't know just different. I don't know, we'll see. Once I've got them all together, we'll see how I like them, and I might redo them because I'm insane. But first I have to outline them all. fun and stop showing you but they're done. So we have a crystal ball that will be uh, cleaned up around the edges when I put it into my computer. 
we have our little night sky witch kitty. Oh, I love her. Our potions, our tarot, and then the other few from earlier, which are all getting put into my computer right now. And then I'm going to um, crop around them, clean them up, put them all into one sheet, and they will be done. But this, this part is a very, very, very long process. So I've got some work ahead of me, but I like how they turned out. I'm gonna get right now I've edited all the ones that I showed you earlier um, this is not final sizes I don't think because I have more things to make so uh, this side you'll see is blank because I'm gonna add in a checkboxes um, thing a little graph looking uh, whatever and some like banner labels that'll say like the days of the week or I don't know something more bullet journaly and then I'll probably sprinkle in some little stars in blank spaces I don't want to get it too crowded because I don't want it to be hard for people to cut out um, which means that all of this will probably be rearranged too but yeah that's what it looks like for now I just love this little kitty so cute but as you can probably tell by the awful lighting it's really late and I definitely need to be done for the night so um that's where we're gonna leave it here and probably won't show you any more like sketching or editing or anything like that i'll just show you when it's done uh and i'm getting ready to post it so there we go oh i did want to mention i think i want to change the hat i don't know if i like how dark it is but other than that i'm pleased for now continuing the tradition of <laughs> awkward angles and super super close-ups let's continue with this vlog hopefully this one is actually usable um, I don't know if I already mentioned but I had recorded or attempted to record a vlog through August and most of the footage is unusable because for whatever reason the mic on my phone which I'm using to record uh, just wasn't picking things up it was like so whispery so I actually bought a lavalier and we'll see if that helps any um, but I'm just sitting here all bundled up because it's like so cold today in Michigan you guys it's September 19th it's too cold for September 19th but I'm sitting here finishing up the 30 day book binge stuff and so I thought I would show you I really hope you're not getting a bunch of feedback on the lavalier from my blanket. Sorry if you are, but so here's what I'm working on right now. This is my setup. I kind of like play something down here <laughs> so that I have something to kind of occupy my mind while I'm doing all this stuff, but this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out a font. It's not going to look like that. But so this is my pumpkin. Um, this is my pumpkin that I painted last year for last year's 30 day book book binge and then didn't end up having it so I um, took a photograph of this and put it into my computer and kind of edited it up cleaned it up I got rid of this little swirly guy and just stuck with this stem as you can see so there you go you can see and then that's obviously the calendar boxes it doesn't have the dates in yet so I'm just working right now on putting the label of October on it. It's going to have a different font um, and it may have this kind of white layer behind it so that you can see it because otherwise. <laughs> um, but So that's what we've got for the calendar this year and then this is the sort of bullet journal sticker sheet type thing that I had already told you guys about earlier in the video and I think it is Pretty much done. I might, I'm thinking about shrinking these down a little bit so that I can squeeze in a sticker of the pumpkin, the floral pumpkin too, because I think that would be nice. But um, I don't know. Haven't done it. 
don't know if I will do it because I do like this arrangement and I like the size of things so I don't know that I want to shrink anything. Maybe I'll put it on a bookmark. Hmm. But yeah, this will be available on the first. I'm so excited. Again, let me know if you actually use any of these, if you are bullet journalers um, or sticker users or if I'm just wasting my time on this, but I'm loving it. I'm lo loving making them. I really... And just, I want to start a stationary business because this is just too fun. Very frustrating, but so fun. And I'm wondering if maybe instead of making this a regular vlog, I should just go ahead and edit this up now and make it a little 30 day book binge announcement. And you guys can see the whole behind the scenes and we can talk about um, 30 day book binge and all of that. Because like, what else am I doing this month to make it worth a vlog? I guess by now you will know the answer. <laughs> to whether I did that because it will either be up or it won't. That is that. I'm hoping that people will join me for 30 Day Book Binge. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will and just don't give a shit about any of this, but I like it. I like my little cosmic kitty. Anyway, that's all for now. That's all for now. Hopefully this piece of shit works. But I'll talk to you guys again soon. Okay, it's been a couple days since I last saw you guys, and I decided to make some changes. So I thought I was done, turns out I'm not. And the reason is, I was making this card, sorry it's already sealed, um, so I can't pull it out, but I made this card for a card challenge I'm doing with a friend of mine, and it's a little wreath, a little fallish wreath, and I thought this would be really cute on a bookmark, and I was trying to decide whether to do bookmarks this time, I'm pretty sure I had mentioned and so when I finished that up I was like yes I do want to do bookmarks but I didn't want to necessarily have to make enough to fill a whole extra sheet of paper for people to print and so as I was looking through um, what I had created so far for um, I can't I can't talk and look at computer things at the same time one moment so when I was looking at what I had created so far I had these days labels for people, uh, five of them, so that you can have one for each week and not have to print the sheet over and over in order to get just those day labels. That way if you're a bullet journaler, you would have coordinated day labels to ready to go for your bullet journal. And I did this last time and I like them okay, but I thought really, actually, this is like the perfect amount of space to wiggle in a couple bookmarks. I might have to shrink these down a little bit, but probably not much because a standard bookmark is two by six and just to show you that's two inches right there so I mean I could probably fit two of these pretty nicely just shrinking those a little bit and then I'd be able to give you two bookmarks one of them being that little wreath sketch that I just showed you and the other one being the floral pumpkin which I am pretty sure I already showed you guys but if not uh, it looks like this and I thought that would be great on a bookmark too just some really simple 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 bookmarks that would be easy to cut out um, wouldn't have too much detail on them so hopefully they won't get really muddy when they're being printed hopefully none of this will be because I don't have a printer to check it but yeah I just thought that would be a great idea so I'm changing it I'm taking away the days I'm adding two bookmarks and then we are done we're done I'm not changing anything else. Hi buddy. Oh okay bye. Whatever. That is what I'm doing right now and uh, when I'm done we are we're calling it. I'm gonna upload them. I'm gonna write the blog post. It's gonna be done. I'm gonna try to record the little invite video today because it actually needs to go up today. Shit. <laughs> it's supposed to go up today. Fuck. Well that's not gonna happen but uh, soon. God damn it. Why do I do this every time? I'm gonna get to work. Apparently I'm on a deadline now. As always. So here's the set. Uh, the only things I really shrunk down were the hat just a tiny bit and the book stack quite a bit. I'm wondering if I should shrink the cat because now it's like so, 
so much bigger than everything, but it's kind of the focal point, so maybe not. I'm calling this set Cosmic Kitty, which I really like. And then here are the bookmarks, so let's take a closer look. So one has a very, very pale gray background, and then the Hello Fall art from the card that I showed you. And then the other, I did a gray outline, which you can either cut completely away, or you can cut at the edges of so that you'll have a gray outline on your bookmark. And it has the floral pumpkin that I showed you, which I cut in half and then I flipped um, and rotated one of the halves so that I've got pumpkin at the top and the bottom. Just something a little different. There's room on here on both of these if you wanted to write your name or this book belongs to or something like that. Um, use it to keep track of things or just keep it very clean and simple, but that is the bookmarks. And that is the set. So I don't know if I showed you already that I had made the calendar, but there is the calendar, which obviously coordinates with the set because it has the floral pumpkin. I might change the font that I used on it. It's this kind of like ribbony font which I like, but I don't know if I like it with this. So uh, that's still to be determined. But otherwise, those are the printables done, which I think means we're done with this video. I still don't know if I'm going to add this into the invitation video because as I mentioned, I apparently need to get that up today, which means if I add this in, it's a lot more to edit, but <sighs> I think I might, I don't know. But either way, I'm calling it quits here. This was definitely plenty enough. And um, hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you like how everything turned out and you're not like, why did you do that? <laughs> and like questioning every decision I made. But I like it. So if no one else gets use out of it, I will. As soon as I get a printer. That is all for now. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you again soon, hopefully, for the 30 Day Book Binge.